Big Bang Biker here. So this year I wanted to start uh, with this bike as the first review of 2017 and uh, have a good time. This is nice road of Bangalore and uh, the view here was really good. So I thought I'll just uh, start it this way now. So this is the Hyosung uh, GTR 250 and uh, man I love this bike. And he has got customized exhaust and it really took him uh, close to what uh, uh, one a month to get that done. So the first thing that you see over here is a immobilizer available as an option from the company itself. So if this is not close to the bike, the bike will not switch on at all. So even if you try to hotwire the bike, the bike will not turn on because of the immobilizer. So most of the GTR owners uh, go for this is what I've heard. Uh, this bike has uh, MRF tires in the front and Cinco imported tires from China in the rear and the grip on that is really good. Uh, since this bike is uh, damn heavy, the initial part of the rev range you don't feel any power, right? So for bikes like this, uh, you have to be really fit because uh, you are in a committed riding position similar to that of uh, RC390 but uh, a little more comfortable I would say the seat is very soft and you have enough room to wiggle around As you saw the bike rolls on very easily and you can go to a higher speed of 160 in no time right so the initial part of it is slow because the bike is uh, damn heavy but when you're riding the bike you don't feel that the bike is heavy because it rolls on that easily that's the best part about this bike since I've told you in a lot of times that I'm six foot tall even though this this thing is rare set I have enough place here to grip the tank with my legs and easily comfortably sit hey it's beautiful man honestly it goes to 160 in no time like after after 7000 rpm is where it comes to life so it's a v twin engine and it's a 250 cc bike and you just saw how good it performs uh yeah man i am really happy with the smoothness of the bike there is no vibration at the foot pegs there are no uh, rubber dampers or anything here as you can see which can dampen the vibrations even that is not there and it's really smooth there were no uh, vibration at the tank i could grip it grip my uh, legs over here very easily and uh, this is the new sticker job which is there on the fairing of uh, gtr 250 and it doesn't look like a 250 cc bike because it it is really bulky and it looks like a 600 plus cc bike you know that's why few people really buy it and uh, it has uh, dual disc brakes in the front the front brake feel is really nice you know it's immediate it's just one click away and you can adjust it to your liking as well the smoothness that you get from a twin cylinder engine cannot be compared to a single cylinder at all uh, as i said it does not have the initial pull as you saw in the video as well but when it comes to top end uh, you could see me doing close to 170 km per hour but on a longer stretch of road where the traffic is very less my friends have gone more than uh, 180 km per hour so that is the top speed of the bike 
but still uh, seeing a 250 cc engine do that is really amazing and uh, my friend really has had a very good time with this bike uh, we have done what 700 kilometers and all in a day right and this being in a committed uh, riding position he has been really comfortable the entire time you know my, i might not be fit but he has maintained himself very nicely and so he understands this bike a lot and he rides it in a fantastic way so when i'm riding with him on the highways and we are doing around 140 speeds and when he just overtakes me it glides like knife on butter you know i feel very happy to see this bike when it goes past me wow it's really nice these tires they grip like crazy man wow easily going at 160 plus kilometers per hour without having to tuck down as well I was sitting almost half upright and I was enjoying the ride. The mirrors can be easily adjusted to see to the viewing angles that you desire and it's really nice. I, as I told you, see the seat is very very soft. You have enough room and this will support your back when you tuck down actually. So again, the rear brake is soft as expected in any other bike. It should not be sharp. So that's even that is good. Uh, coming to the suspension part of it, uh, this bike is not on a harder side at all. Medium soft in the front, so you don't feel every bump when you are going in the front. On the rear as well, as you go at higher speeds, you don't see the bike wiggle around or anything. It's very very smooth. So if this was built in India or uh, you know assembled in India for you guys with spare parts being made over here, this would have been a much more affordable bike. And to show off, come on man. Who doesn't love the look of this bike? You feel like you're owning a 600 plus cc bike for sure. And uh, see the thing is, this is the unused part of nice road where you can easily come and go once in a while for a photo shoot. So that's okay, I asked the security guard there. So as you can see here, the feeling is very nice you can easily handle this bike no issue at all the clutch is a little hard the clutch is a little hard but the gear shifts are smooth so the mileage of this bike is around uh, 25 kilometers only so that is what you have to expect from uh, 250cc bikes then uh, the service interval is around uh, 6 to 8000 and the cost of service is around uh, 4000 rupees but he says that uh, the service has to be improved because the people in India like the way they are getting the service from Mojo or uh, KTM that's far more superior than, superior than all these bikes getting it so if the service can be improved on this bike that would be great 3000 or 2000 rpm if you are riding for a longer time the bike jerks a little and it wants to be ridden only in this range right so that is where the bike is absolutely beautiful and the fairing doesn't vibrate at all i'll give you that the fairing doesn't vibrate anywhere the fit is awesome and even if you ride this bike at uh, lower speeds right the bike doesn't heat up at all heat management on this bike is uh, very very nice i've asked my friend akshay to rev the bike for us once and uh, give you the exhaust note of this custom exhaust that he has got on it. Oh my God. Wow, that's that's really nice. And uh, when you get, let go of the throttle when you're riding, it pops here and there like a street triple, and that sound is fantastic, I'll tell you. So let's end the vlog here i had a fantastic time riding this bike i really don't feel tired in my knees or uh, my hands or anything it's really very nice so yeah guys uh, so let me end the vlog here uh, and i would like to thank uh, akshay for uh, you know giving me this bike for the first review of 2017 and uh, i hope you like this uh, vlog do like share and subscribe and please do comment i love reading the comments that you guys post on the videos Let's have fun in 2017.